I just wanted to take you guys on a lazy day. What are you doing? Well, what a lazy day looks like for a parent. I am so tired today and I only have a few things that I want to get done today. Come here. <laughs> and um, it is, I want to make some bread and I want to read my book and I just need to really tidy. You can see like there's a lot of toys all over the place, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Just so wanted to take you guys along, and it's also like get outside because it's a nice day. Um, for the first like two weeks that we were here, it rained almost every day, um, or it was like super muddy, and we didn't really go outside. It was super cold or windy, and the last two days and today have been really good weather but i think it's gonna rain again this weekend so i've been trying to get us outside every single day we went outside yesterday and played um some bubbles and just ran around and that's what i'm gonna do today figure it out and take you along with me can you say hi say hi <laughs> Let's see you soon. So, it's been a long time. It's been several hours. Olivia took a nap. And now, well, we ate lunch. Well, she took a nap. We ate lunch. And then we played inside because what? What? because um, the neighbors were outside, and I left them be outside um, before I brought Bear outside. I always bring Bear in when they come out so that they can also have a peaceful time outside without Bear. She's back there playing in the bucket of water. That's it's fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna just get some sun out here because it feels so good out here. I am wearing a sweater, um, but I bet it's like 75. It was 75 yesterday. Hopefully you can hear me. There's a few loud trucks that pass. But um, this is like the third day in the row. I think I said it was already that we've had nice weather. Hey. Come here. And um, taking advantage of it because I think it says Monday that it's going to be thunderstorming again, and then we can't go. We won't go outside. Um, but yeah, she's just gonna play outside. But that's the fam there. Uh, they're just gonna walk around, and then we're gonna go inside. And I will probably put her down for another nap. And yeah. I'm just gonna sit here and watch her run around. That's what she does. She likes to just come outside and walk. Which I love. And then we have this rocking chair that came to the house that I'm obsessed with. Um, it was actually in the front yard and I had Ryan bring it in the back so that I could sit down. But anyway, that's that. That's it for now. I'll let you know. A few things to show you in the house too, but I'll wait until she goes down for a nap so I can properly show. And then, yeah, we'll get on with the rest of our day. But we're gonna just sit out here for a while because it feels amazing. And get her energy out before I take her in for a nap. There she goes. Bye, Oli. Olivia. Olivia. Bye bye. Bye-bye.
Where are you going? You don't know? <laughs> you don't know where you're going? Bear, bear. So I just put Olivia down for naps. I'm hoping that she naps. But I wanted to show a few things. But first, my dad got me his cake stand for my birthday, and it just came in, and I'm so excited to show you. This isn't its permanent spot. I want it on the dining room table, but as you can see, it has a lot of stuff on it already, even though I just tidied it. But here's my cake stand. So it is super simple. Uh, my mom has this same one, and I told her that I wanted it. And what she does is sometimes she'll put a plate under there for the holidays, and then Put the treats on top i think that's so cute so i think that's what i'm gonna do but i do want it as kind of like with the centerpiece of our table but also this came in the mail so i've been wanting to teach myself how to sew because my dream is to sew clothes for olivia so i just got this small one that i can sit at the table until i have my office set up um but I'm going to do like a whole separate video of me learning how to sew and like sewing my first item or something because I have a lot of things that I want to sew but I'm going to start off making Olivia something. First I'm going to start off learning how to use it. This is the instruction. Um, but it's really cute and small. I think it's going to be the perfect size for me to start out. Uh, bought this off of Amazon. This is kind of like a little table that goes on this side to give you a little bit more area space. Oh, and there's like a little ruler on there. That's cool. And then it came with all of this. So I think that is really cool that it came with all of that. And then oh, it came with another tape measure. And See, I don't know everything, so I'm going to learn, but here it is. So it's tiny and it's really light because I was able to hold it with one hand. Sorry, my eyes are itchy. Um, probably because we were outside, but I think it's going to be perfect for me to start off. And it got really good reviews and said like it's the perfect thing for a little project. And even if I just make Olivia clothes, it's a little project. Um, I literally think it's so cute. Um, I'm gonna have to learn what all of these pieces are, but you'll see that in my video. But here it is, and it has a little handle. I think it is so cute. And I also got some um, little quarters, fat quarters of fabric from Walmart so that I can practice and not ruin like a bunch of fabric. Um, I might sit here and read the instructions, put everything together, read the instructions, see what's up. And then, yeah, but I think it is super, super cute. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I have been wanting this for a while um, because I have been wanting to sew Olivia some things and now I'm going to learn how to do that. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs>
There we go. Get a little bit more on my face. Look at that cute forehead. Um, it is the next day and I got up early to get a, well, get me a coffee. I got her a donut. But <laughs> I finished this last night. Um, it needs a lot of work, but I learned, I was just learning how to use my sewing machine. Yeah, I'm so happy with it. A closer look. Um, and then it opens right here. And I think I'm going to actually put a button on it. Um, okay. Thank you. I specifically made this one to put all of my things in because my sewing machine came with all these little pieces. And so I was like, well, I'm going to learn how to sew, but I want to make something practical out of it. So don't touch it, hurt your fingers. Um, it's off, don't worry. But it came with like little scissors. Um, this one, I don't know what they're called, but to cut the thread. And then to do the, to um, <laughs> thread the needle. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you okay? You almost fell down? Some different needles in this little pack. And then, I know this goes on like your finger. And then it came with, I'm gonna keep these in the packaging, but it came with like extra pieces, which is so nice. And then these extra pieces. And then um, I'm going to put this in there. Um, what else? No, no, no. Um, and I'm also going to put put the foot thing. So you can do the foot, or you there's an on button, and I've just been doing the on button. But I'm going to keep this just in case. Um, put that in my little bag. And then I'm actually going to hand sew on a button to keep it closed. I was going to put all of my threads in there, but I think I want to make a new bag and it specifically be for all of these colors. And I think once I get my room set up, I want to have like a little basket or something to put these in. Um, but for the sake of me learning how to do it and everything, I might do that. And then um, I might just stick in this manual in there. Because I did have to use it yesterday to learn how to like, thread the needle and thread the bobbin and all of that stuff. So that is it. It fits perfect. And then I think I'm going to have the button so that everything is closed in. These are all loose strings. Do you like it, baby? Do you like it? <laughs> so that everything can stay in here. <laughs> I know, but you can't have it, baby. Ah. Yeah, because there's needles and stuff in there. And then we got Olivia some of those letters that you put on the fridge. Um, she's not totally into it. I bet she will be. Um, but it like will take her a minute to get focused on something, I guess. Um, right, baby? It's trash. It's trash. <laughs> um, I'm just cleaning up a little bit and then I'll probably be back once this little mussy goes to nap. Do you want to say hi? Uh, say hi. <laughs> Did you have a donut for breakfast? Did you have a donut for breakfast? Did you? Might go watch cartoons for a minute before I come. She just wants all my stuff, so I need to go away so that she doesn't want it. <laughs> but we're gonna go watch cartoons. Well, I'll go watch cartoons. Let's go.
so it's nap time. I think the last thing that I'm going to do is try and figure out these flowers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to savage any of them because they're dying, but I wanted to dry some out, but, so I have this. I'm going to try and take a few out of my face and um, I was thinking these are all like pretty dried out already. These ones and these ones. I like this one too. I mean, I wish I could keep them all, but I know that not all of them will look nice. Um, or even be able to be dried out. I'm not sure about any of that, but. I'm going to all these are all wrapped up in each other. There we go. I think that's it. Um, so I'm actually allergic to flowers, but I've noticed that with these ones, they didn't make me sneeze. But they are starting to make me sneeze as they die, so that's kind of why. But I also wanted to see if I'm able to dry some of these out. Like, they're super cute. And so I think I'm going to do that. I'm just cutting off some of the bottom where they were in the water. And it's also getting really windy outside, so I shut the doors. That will also make me sneeze. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I think do these together. I think that is so cute. They're like almost dried out already. Um but I'm just going to go ahead. I'm gonna do them in little bunches. And then I'm actually have like a rack where my washer and dryer is. So I think I'm going to go ahead and tie those up and like hang it like that for them to dry out. And then like figure it out from there for a couple days and see what happens. But I will show you once they're hanging up in there. Okay, so I finished up with the flowers. Um, I'm going into the laundry room. I have to go around the toys. But, um... These, this is what I did, um, ignore the laundry, <laughs> but I just hung them up on this hanger, hung them upside down, that's what I read on Pinterest, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think, I hope that they come out nice, we'll see in a couple days, but I had to throw away a lot of flowers, which is sad, but I did have those flowers for three weeks, so they did live a nice life but I have some here that I was able to save because um they didn't look too bad so I added them in there so that I can enjoy them for a few more days and it's pretty windy outside so I'm trying to keep an eye on the dogs um one of my puppies is only like five pounds so I'm gonna keep an eye on them but Yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on them while they go to the bathroom. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna end this video here. Hopefully you can hear me. It's not too windy. But thank you guys so much for watching and... Oh, look at... Um, <laughs> on my crazy day. I don't know if my video made much sense. I know it's all over the place, but thank you guys so much for going along with me in the last two days. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Baby. And it's also so windy that our rocking chair fell over. <laughs> Bye, <Baby. laughs> Bye, guys.